Hey guys, have you ever seen a cop bust someone? Have you ever seen a cop bust a move? I'm going to tell you guys, this guy right here can do them both. Welcome to Inside the Red Zone with Coach Smith and Mrs. Coach Smith. Hey, before we get started, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for us on the YouTube channel. In today's podcast, you're going to hear from a passionate police officer that loves to dance, has a huge heart for kids, and loves the Yellow Hammer Coffee. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mr. Jeremy March. Well, I appreciate y'all having me. Thank you very much. <laughs> You are so welcome, and we're so honored that you're here. Um, this is an absolute treat because this guy is so well known and all across the country. He's got viral videos out, and we're just going to show you how incredible he is. We want to share him with you tonight. But speaking of Yellow Hammer Coffee, wait a second. Let's back up to that for just oh, a minute. Oh, yeah. Um, Yellow Hammer Coffee, and guess what? I have a surprise for you. Wow, I yep. appreciate that. Well, yeah. actually, we, we all we all got some yellow hammer coffee tonight. That's right. Yes, cheers, yellow hammer cheers. coffee. So let's talk about yellow hammer coffee for just a second. It is a local Mobile favorite, and they're personal friends of ours, Jeff and Monique Roberts. Shout out to you guys and what you've done. Yellow Hammer, uh, we'll actually have to have an episode and bring them on as well because their story is incredible. Absolutely. But this is the Yellow Hammer billboard <laughs> and poster child and hero right here. So this actually has meaning tonight because he loves his Yellow Hammer coffee. And when you get to see some of his videos, you'll know why. Absolutely. So we're so glad that you're here. Thank you for your time. And this really means a lot to us to come on inside the red zone to be able to talk about you. We want to highlight you and what you're doing in our community and um, what you've got going on and just to have some fun. Man, absolutely. We're all about having some fun. That's right. Hey, get back to that yellow hammer coffee. The other day, <laughs> me and Michelle, we were going down to the beach. So we all, Michelle loves yellow hammer coffee. So we zipped in there real quick. Of course, it was a line and they got the best service in there. And the little girl come up. I said, hey, I told uh, Coach Michelle, I'm going to ask them if they know Jeremy March and they know what kind of coffee that he likes. So the little girl came up to the window and I said, you know what? We ordered our coffee. I said, do you know Officer Jeremy March? Oh, Oh, yes, sir. We know Officer March. <laughs> Do you know what kind of coffee he likes? And you know, I don't know all the foo-foo coffees, but boy, they he she was hammered. Well, he likes this, 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 and this. So, man, this guy right here is a, is a celebrity. And they know him on a first-name basis and his coffee. Man, that is, that is really, really good. Well, I so, don't know if that's a good thing if they know you on a first-name basis. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a good thing. And you make the greatest videos and just have so much fun. You bring a lot of joy and laughter in just your creativity and just being yourself yeah i mean he just did a video where he got mugged he <laughs> got mugged and you have to go watch it because he did get mugged but you've got to go watch what i'm talking about to know and understand a good kind of mug at that he got mugged yeah yes so, well, yeah, let's, let, I got to talk about something else, what I like. Okay. You know, back in the day, I used to dance a little bit and have a good time. <laughs> oh, but oh. but this guy right here, I want to know about those dancing moves. Man, you absolutely kill it at the parades. Well, it's, it is that. It's just it's, it's moves. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I'm, I'm killing it, uh, if you will. But, uh, killing something killing like something. knees I'm, or hips. That's, or... That's, it's, my back is killing me. I'm, I'm, I'm done all Yeah. So go and, uh, you know, go on YouTube, video, uh, look this guy up or Google him. You know, I, well, I saw one episode about years ago. Where somebody said, hey, there's this dancing cop from Mobile. Uh, you need to watch this clip on Moon News. And I did. I said, Man, that is really, really neat. But I, when I start doing my homework and, and digging deeper on this guy right here, it is amazing how good he can dance and get down. Yes. And the things he does at the parade, 
at, yes. at that corner when uh, when people the, the crowd approaches him when the floats come down he's getting out there dancing he's throwing the, the baton up he's riding horses man he does it all he's, he's a great entertainer entertainer <laughs> for our parades well, well getting down is the easy part it's <laughs> getting up it's, it's, a getting struggle. Back up. <laughs> it's getting up it's a struggle well tell us about the actual corner that danny mentioned you've been at that location <laughs> which was, has been Royal and Dauphin. Correct. And we're talking about Mardi Gras in Mobile. And you've been at that same corner. You actually have families and kids that come every year to be at your corner just because you bring some entertainment, <laughs> some it's, good entertainment. It, it's pretty neat. And, and like you said, the families have, have started to come mm -hmm. uh, uh, because of the interaction that I, I have with kids, which is, it's it's I, I find it an honor. It's, it's really a blessing that that the kids and the families enjoy coming to my corner so much. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've watched these kids literally grow up mm -hmm. uh, at my corner, so it's great to see them every year. Yes, that's so good. Yeah, and he doesn't mind jumping on that uh, broomstick horse, <laughs> oh, riding the hilarious. horse, Boy, and riding that horse. On. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of them are real horses. Here comes Officer Mark on his little. Uh, well, that horse's legs gets tired pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah. It's so good. So, so good. And you guys are going to love the videos and following him. But I want to change it for just a second and make it on a serious note, because one major thing that he's done in this process of being a Mobile uh, City Police Officer and now a sheriff with the sheriff's office here in Mobile, he also has started a nonprofit organization called Cops for Kids. And we wanna highlight and showcase this and we wanna hear from you about that and how it got started okay. and what your heart and your vision is because it's amazing. It's so good. Well, um, Cops for Kids got started. I've been in law enforcement for uh, going on 27 years now, 25, a little over 25 with the city of Mobile, recently retired. I uh, started the job with the sheriff's department, but uh, um, prior to all of this, I've always dealt with kids uh, pretty much my entire life. Uh, enjoy the interaction with them. And me and my wife, we were in our, our teen department at our church for uh, 22 years. And uh, I, I know I don't look old. <laughs> Uh, we've gotten we've gotten older. You still look like a teenager. You <laughs> should be yeah. in, a, in the team. Like you dance like as a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so when we decided to, or we we came out of the teen department, uh, I kind of fell honestly into a depression mm -hmm. uh, because I was not having that constant mm -hmm. contact with the kids and, and mm -hmm. teenagers and, and, and that aspect of it. And during that time, is is when a lot of things was going on across the country involved in law enforcement and how we were starting to get a bad rap. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all cops are bad kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, so I was like, you know, that's it. 99.9% .9 of all officers out there do this job because we truly care about the community. We care about the people and the kids in it. Uh, and we truly want to help people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a shame that, that uh, things get focused on the negative rather than the positive. Um, so with all that going on, I decided uh, there's I wanted to get out here with these kids and try to change their mindset because when they're hearing that at a young age about all the negative, it just kind of stays with you. If they don't ever see anything any different, then you just never know what their mindset is going to be when they have when at some point exactly. they maybe they have that interaction with mm -hmm. the law enforcement. So uh, I started uh, getting out there with the, the kids at the park, taking a police car out there and, and uh, letting the kids climb in and out, uh, turn on the lights and sirens. They love hearing their voice come out of that PA system. <laughs> they love it. I was going to uh, say, I would like to be on the PA. Can do, I yeah. do that? Oh, oh, yeah, we'll get you out there. On. Uh, but they, they love that aspect of it. Uh, but I just wanted to get out there and have that positive interaction with mm -hmm. them. And, and honestly, I've never anticipated uh, necessarily starting a Cops for Kids program. But it just started about getting out there with the kids. Wow. Uh, and things just started growing from that point. And, uh, Friends and family were coming to me, telling me I needed to uh, make it a nonprofit. So I decided to do that around July of 2017. Uh, and we've been slowly growing ever since then. I've had a couple of guys come on board with me, um, helping me out with the program uh, so mm -hmm. we can reach more kids and 
uh, different aspects. We, we go to schools, we go to birthday parties, uh, we go skating. Uh, uh, I, I don't do the inline skates. I do the the the, the roller, four wheels, the roller skates. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do skates. the four wheels. With you. Uh, but we'll get out there and bike ride with them in our uniforms, and uh, we'll get out there and skate with them in our uniforms. And, uh, we, we take the cars to the uh, the schools and do a community health presentation. So mm, yeah. I like to say wherever the kids are, that's that's exactly yeah. where we want to be. That's where you want to be. You know, Officer Mark, you just mentioned about going to schools. Let me tell you a few other things he does. Man, this guy, he goes to birthday parties. He pulls teeth. Some of the parents will call Officer Mark to come to the house and pull and, and, and pull a child's tooth. Uh, he goes to football camps. He is seen in this community, unbelievable. And it's just it's it's really really good what all the, this the Officer Mark does. So tell them about how many um, teeth you, you've pulled so far. What's your magic number? To date, I've pulled 69 teeth. Six, um, 69. And, and he's right. I have gotten calls from parents to make house calls. Uh, because the kids don't want anybody else to pull their teeth, so they'll they'll call me to come and take care of that for them. That's amazing. <laughs> but yeah. I'm 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 really excited and and really hoping to get to that hundred mark really soon. You hear um, that? Okay, 100. guys, come on, kids. So he I'm, wants to I'm, hit the hundred. I'm going to go ahead and and say I'm sorry to that kid where I get that hundred tooth because <laughs> you're not going to get that tooth back. <laughs> I'm keeping that tooth. I will I will pay you for it. I'll I'll do the. I'll, I'll help the tooth fairy out. Oh, you might get and, double. Well, I'm sure the tooth fairy be good because that kid's got that hundred oh, tooth. Yeah. Man, that's going to be like, tooth. What if I got a tooth <laughs> needs to be pulled, man? I need some money. <laughs> that's going to be my trophy tooth right there. That's my that's my mark. He's so, got a goal of uh, goal. hitting a hundred teeth. <laughs> that's right. I, I think you can do it. I think so. I think, I think you so. can do it. I this just year. need some kids to come on there. Yeah. Wiggle those teeth. For me. Yes. <laughs> Where are the loose loose teeth? Loose teeth. Yeah. So, but I I enjoy it. I have a good time with it. Well, I I just had an image pop in my mind, and I know this is kind of crazy to think of, but making an arrest if somebody had a loose tooth would that count too? <laughs> well, we, we might can make it. We, okay, we make okay. It. I'm going to put handcuffs on you. I'm going to pull you too. Take that too. So you know, sometimes to get confessions, it's like pulling teeth. Yes, so, exactly. If you break the law, I'm going to bust you, but I can bust a move and pull a tooth out. Man, yeah, well, that's right. He's a jack of all trades, man. He said even getting a confession sometimes is like <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I I want to go back and talk for a second and not skip over this. The birthday parties and the teeth and the parades downtown, just the fact that he brings so much joy and happiness because you know the other side to his career that he has had. But what a blessing that he wants to bring a community together and that he's now got some incredible partners in on this as well and some some men in our community that have stepped up to partner with him to make this a nonprofit. The wraps on the car are incredible. If you're local and you see this car, it's gorgeous, but it catches your eye because it says cops for kids and then you've got all the sponsorship on the hood we did uh our sponsors that uh that come on board with us and and, uh uh donate and and help us support us um because these cars they've been very essential if you will Mm -hmm. uh, to the program because that's what the kids love they love they love the cars they love getting out there and interacting getting in the cars and and that presents to them in a way about what an officer goes through his whole day that that police car is the officer's office yeah and that's what he works out of you know sometimes 12 or 12 hours a day or long so, so the, and the they cars, want to see that in a positive light and you're showing them yeah and our sponsors that have come on board with us you know i like to tell them that when they do sponsors there's their logo goes on the hood of that car i call it the sponsorhood the sponsorhood uh, <laughs> So their logo goes on the car. So wherever I, I feel like, and I'll tell them this, that wherever I am, our, our cops for kids is at, they're with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're they're participating with us, even though they're not, but they may not be physically there. That's good. They're they're, they're giving back to the community through us and mm-hmm. they're showing their love and support for the community through us. And uh and that's what I like for them to, to understand and to realize. So good. That. Yes, I know. Really, really I, good. I can only imagine that we've got some incredible viewers and in our audience that are probably thinking right now that's pinging their heart. And if you want to know more, he is going to 
you know, um, tell us how you can contact him to get more information or maybe get more involved because we want this thing to go national, just like his dancing videos. <laughs> They've gone viral. Oh, we oh, want to help God. make cups for kids <laughs> something that is well-known all across our country as well. So sponsorships are needed. You've got how many cars now? Uh, we just sold one that started having our very first car that we ever got. We just recently sold it because of issues it was having. Uh, but we are looking to get another car. But right now we have three cars, uh, two Chargers, a Tahoe, and we have a motorcycle uh, and a disaster relief truck. Wow. So Three what, kind cars. Of, what kind of motorcycle is it? You got some wraps on it? Uh, that'd be pretty we, cool. We, you don't have motorcycle cops for kids. We I don't like that. Do yeah. A cops for kids wrap on it. Uh, it is a retired Harley Davidson. Oh, uh, man. Motorcycle. wow. Has the lights and sirens on. Kids yeah. love it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, we are growing. It's 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 a slow process, but we are steadily growing. Yeah. Uh, thanks to our sponsors and thanks to that nature that, that have come on board with us and helped us out with that. Absolutely. I, I, I can see some other people right now that are going to link arms with you guys and mm -hmm. want to jump in on that right there. Um, that, that's so good. And you need to see it in person. So <laughs> you can invite Officer March and his team and cops for kids to your community event and they can come if especially if it's anything to do with kids um but adults too i mean <laughs> who doesn't want to talk that's, on the pa that's right we have some adults <laughs> that actually did yeah. so i i love that um and the pull in the teeth is just the icing on the cake yeah. but he's also been to the football camp oh he yeah came to aj mccarrick's football camp yeah and giving and, all the kids high fives speaking to them loving on them and uh you know what was that the the uh with aj's mother d did it at the academy giving away they was all involved with that yes. shop with the cops shops with the cops shops and the, the cops. cops the kids were involved with that and and all of a sudden march got invited to that event and he was there and uh just loving on the kids you know and i always said that a kid, you know, growing up, they might not remember all the physical or or not physical things, but gifts you give them, but they will remember this. They will remember how you made them feel. And Officer March makes every kid feel like they important. He loves on them. And they will never, ever forget that the way Officer March made them feel. Yeah. And that's just a blessing. That's a gift that you have. And, uh, that's, you know, the kids are going to come back you, to you years from now and thank you for you pouring into them and you made a difference in their lives, you know. Yes. Hey. Well, you know, these, these kids, they've been a blessing to me, too. And uh, as much as I, I hope to be a, uh, a blessing to them, they, they, they've touched my heart in many ways yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Well, and thinking about how you got started, will you take just a couple of minutes and share? Um, I know you shared that you and your wife worked in the team department, and that's where, you know, you spent many years and your heart was already there um and going through a little bit of depression coming out of that and so wanting to start something so that you could get back into that but share with us just for a couple of minutes what happened in your life to get you to this point and how you got started originally well i was uh growing up i i had a lot of anger issues uh uh from from things that were going on with me uh, and it, it was to the point where I was I was looking as a, a way to vent. I would get into fights all the time. And it got to where I was looking for fights um, uh, and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And but it took a, a high school uh, coach of mine. I know you're a coach uh, and he could see that anger because every time I was turning around, I was getting kicked out of games because of the fights that I was in and, and, and the games. Wow. And it was it was a really big problem that, that unfortunately, that reputation, things that you, you do, uh, whether you intend for it or not, those, those, those things that happen kind of follow you throughout your life. Mm -hmm. um, and he could see where I was going with that. My coach could. And, and uh, I can remember him sitting me down in his, in his office at the school and, and, and saying, hey, you know, what's going on with you. He, and this was a coach that uh, really spent the time with mm -hmm. me. Uh, and it was because of him and spending that, that godly, genuine love that he was pouring into me, even though I wasn't really lovable, a lovable individual at the time. Wow. Um, he, he, he poured himself into me. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it hadn't been for him, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today. Uh, but he, he, uh, 
he had that passion and that godly desire to to work on me wow. um, and it was because of him that um, my life did change to a wow. certain degree so, that's amazing and that's coach what was his name tom russell he was a a lot of people in the community know him uh, he, he was a coach at faith academy, faith academy. yes yeah. coach yeah. russell what a powerful testament that he saw the greatness in you through the anger and the hurt and the pain that you were exuding during those times and look how that and how god has taken that and changed it for the better not only for your life but now that's your purpose that's your purpose and your passion and your calling of what you can see in these kids and these teenagers now and that you're able to just give that hug and that love and that word and and it's genuine i've never seen not one time of anything that you've ever done that did not come across as truly just humble and genuine and that's when you know like that was your pain and now it's your purpose well, yeah I, I always tell anybody to just even at the schools going to the schools is really my passion mm -hmm. uh and, and being involved uh, and even going to their ball games and things uh just to let them know even though it's an extracurricular activity i want them to to know that i can, I, I, I love them enough yeah. that i want to come watch them play i want to be a small part of their life wow. whether it is you know it may be a small part but uh, but just going into the schools and 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 telling them that you love them and, and, and proving that and showing that to them because kids are smart they 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 know what genuine is and they know what yes. they know what genuine is not yeah uh, and they can tell if you're fake with it and if you're not but i try to show them that genuine love i tell them i love them i give them fist bumps high fives all that stuff because telling that kid that you love them uh and giving them that hug that may be the only love that or i love you that they hear or that that may be the only hug that they yes. get um but, you know, and, and that's that's the whole point. So good, yeah. especially in nowadays where yeah. the family system is just very broken. broken. Let's just be real. There's a lot of kids or not a lot. There's some kids don't have the best of homes that's to true. go home to. Yeah. And when 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 Officer Marks loves on them, like he was just saying, that might be the only time they ever hear that. And those three words are powerful. I love you. I yeah. believe in you. And it just does so much for kids. And you know, if you pour into them like that, you are making a huge difference in their lives, man. I just want to, you know, congratulate you again. And not congratulate, but thank you again yes. for doing that type of stuff. Well, oh, I mean, God tells us, you know, love each other with genuine love. Yes, uh, he and, does. And that, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Yep. And especially after you had that type of impact in your own life and, and willing to share that with us. Thank you. Because um, that wouldn't be something that you would automatically think by meeting him or looking at him. I mean, even with Danny and I in our past, we all have things that we had to deal with and based upon, you know, hurt or shame, pain, forgiveness a trauma <clears throat> all of those things you know that, that we had to work through but anger especially and when you're able to admit that you know you just looked for the fight you were looking for the outlet and even maybe when you didn't want to do that or be that way anymore and you wanted to come out of that you still felt like that followed you yeah. and until happens. You kept making that change yeah. and you kept making that statement. And it, you got to continue to work on it. It's not something that's going to take place instantly uh, yep. overnight. You know, we all we're human. We all make mistakes. We have that sinful nature. Uh, and we've got to not only work on it ourselves, but you really do have to help other people work on it. Just like the coach helped me work on. Yeah. Uh, got to help other people work on that and show them that genuine love because uh, that love conquers all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Like you're bringing up our favorite F words right now, <laughs> faith, family, some fitness. We have to stay fit. Like he breaks it down and dances for his fitness. And a whole lot of football. And a whole lot of football and fun. Yeah. Football so and, all about and fun. fun. Yeah. But I do want to touch on two more things before we close it down. I want to go back to Mardi Gras in Mobile because there's a story that just resonates and we have to share this oh you got to be talking about the michigan story yes yeah. so let's go back and share like he's been on this corner he's at royal street and dolphin street 
and that's his corner and the families come there. But tell us about the lady that came from up north and she called you out in the crowd. Tell she, us the story, please. She, she did. Uh, this has been several years ago. Uh, and I don't know why y'all record me dancing. And all <laughs> but anyway, it made it uh, national. Yes, uh, it did go viral. This lady from Michigan, actually, it, it aired in her community, I guess, or wherever she's living at. And uh, I can remember working at my corner mm -hmm. in, in the intersection. And I hear this lady. So I'm, officer, officer, can you come here? Come here. So so I walk over to her and she's like, hey, she said, uh, I've never been to Mardi Gras before. And she's like, I, I, we saw this. I'm from Michigan and we saw this <laughs> dancing cop. Uh, and I came down here. I flew down here to come and see this dancing cop. Uh, and she's like, she asked me, she, she said, I know the parades are about to start. Can you do you know where he would be at? <laughs> So I was kind of like looking around, like I was like trying to be, be secretive. And I, I said, yes, ma'am. I said, as a matter of fact, I know exactly where he's at, where he's going to be. And she's like, are you serious? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, uh, you're looking at him. And she just, she thought I was kidding with her at first. Uh, and uh, she's like, are you playing? I said, no, ma'am. I said, I, I, I'm the one you're looking for. And she said, are you, or she said, oh, please. Are you going to dance for me tonight? I, said, oh. I came all this way to see you dance. Yeah. And I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, would you tell me that you flew all the way here from Michigan? I said, that's too much pressure. I don't yeah. know if I could do it, yeah. uh, but I did. I yeah. did a couple that of is that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. She didn't even realize she was talking all right. All the way from Michigan yeah, so, so, to see the dance and cop. Right yeah. to him. That's so awesome. Yeah. And well, then there was um, someone else. That came to that corner as well that showed up. We did. We had uh, Mark Zuckerberg. If y'all aren't familiar with Mark Zuckerberg, um, he you is mean the, the Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, he was uh, apparently doing his starting out his 50 state tour. Mm -hmm. uh, he had never been to a Mardi Gras before, and he just happened to stop in at the parades that night uh, at my corner. And an, another person actually recognized him before I did. So I walked over to him and I said, I said, sir, I said, I got a question I want to ask you. And before I could ask him my question, he's like, I'm who you think I am. <laughs> and uh, he's like, please don't make a big deal out of it. And I'm like, OK, I won't. I won't. I said, but do me one favor. I said, can I get a picture with you? And he was able to uh, snap a picture with me real quick. So. Uh, but yeah, I got to meet uh, the Facebook. The Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Man, so, that is really And that cool. is on our Facebook page, too. <laughs> so, uh, and we're going to link in the show notes how you can find Officer March on his Facebook page. And there might be a TikTok, may or may not, but <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, and definitely how you can email him for more contact about sponsorship or just having cops for kids come out to your community event and to be there and just to bring a whole lot of family fun and and love i mean just yes. he brings the community together yeah the he world needs more jeremy marches i promise you yes <laughs> yes makes it a better place